DIY electric pole pounder. Let's cue the intro. here another day another project post pounder getting ready to do that sloping back hill now here's going down the slope of our back hill pretty steep Pretty steep. Idea is here to uh, pound in a post very quickly. Here's your typical post pounder. And yeah, obviously, uh, anyone that's ever done this, you grab the handles and uh, slip it over the post and bang it and bang it and bang it until you get it seated. Well, if you've got soil that's kind of rocky, which our soil is, has a lot of hardened clay, which our soil is that can be a little time consuming like half an hour i don't know it takes a long time anyway uh, especially hit some rocks in there I'm trying to drive it down three four feet well here on the hill i'm going to be using some long posts like this and driving them uh a substantial way actually this isn't even the tallest i've got another foot taller it's a seven footer I'm using eight footers driving them in about five feet in I'm trying to do is stabilize the soil on the back hill, so that's why I want it to go deep. So here we've got the parts here. In the process of cutting out my parts for a T-post driver, I'm gonna use a uh, demolition hammer, cheap Harbor Freight demolition hammer. Take and sacrifice one of the bits to it. Cut it off. Weld it into this contraption and uh, we'll see how it does driving posts. I got a lot of posts to drive. Okay, pieces are cut, cleaned up, ready for welding. I was going to stick weld it, but now I'm looking at the uh, uh, stick. Stick welding is a little questionable. Sometimes you're not sure whether it worked or not. Whereas the TIG, you know, I know I've got a nice deep penetration and all that. So I'm going to go for the TIG if I have enough gas left. So, let's get on the welding. Okay, I finished welding it up. And it pulled a little bit to one side when I started the weld. I didn't notice till later. So, it's off a few degrees, but uh, I really care. One thing I uh, tried was interesting while it was still really hot. See that kind of blackened look? Uh, yeah. I was trying a, uh, a super protectant on it because uh, generally these have some uh, silicone in them. And, uh, Figure when the thing's that hot, it can embed into the surface and might make it, you know, more rust resistant and such. So uh, anyway, I thought that'd be an interesting trial. I do like the color of it; gives it a real nice patina. If you can see it there. Yeah, my weld this air is a little uh, doesn't look so smooth. I'm trying to go around a circle, something like this is a little difficult. But sure, it works. I'm not selling the piece. Just want to get a good tight weld. And once the sucker cools off, I'll uh, get out there and give it a try on a post. With a pole pounder. On the demo hammer. Okay, here's a post. It was six feet, was six feet tall. I think we got about 18 inches there left. I'll show you a little more. I mean, it just drove it down in about a minute. So this thing's working great. Let's, uh, I got this nice uh, vantage thing and I'm up above it like this, makes it a little easier. I'll try to drop this on there. And Okay, I don't want it any less than that. 
now down about a foot. Yeah, that's great. Imagine what, how much effort that takes trying to do it by hand. So I got to do this whole hill. This is actually going to be for uh, connecting a line to. So I can attach a line for going down the hill. Attach it down at the bottom. Okay, that works. So this is two inch steel. You can see it's roughly a quarter of an inch wall thickness. Didn't need to be that thick, but that just happens to be what I had. Uh, you could use circular. Um, you could use whatever you want. This is all I had. And the back here I've got a piece of uh, 3 8 inch steel. Uh, it happens to have the angle on it just because uh, the piece originally had the angle. And I thought, hey, that might, might actually help getting it over there. So it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so uh, we've got the cap. Like I say, 3 8 inch steel. This is welded on. And then this uh, bit, which goes into the demolition hammer, has also been welded in. Uh, came off at a little bit of an angle, but uh, we're not going to worry about that. So the first thing is, I'm, am I going to be able to tilt this thing up? with the device on it as it stands. So well, let's see, let's uh, couple these two together. So I'm doing it on the ground and see if I can do a tilt up on it. Let's get it down to the ground or a reasonable facsimile thereof, that'll do. Get it on. Okay, so now I got it. Tilting her up. Yeah, that's, uh, that's up there, all right? And I have to deal with the on-off situation. Sometimes the simplest solution is the best. Okay, so I've got a handle, some, uh, I don't know, some old fishing line. It's probably for deep sea fishing or something. It's quite thick. I'm not a fisherman. I don't know. I said I don't fish anymore. So anyhow, uh, so when this thing gets pulled on. So that'll do the job, at least for now. If I decide uh, this is really useful, then I can go from there. This will at least get me started. Okay, let's give this a shot. so deep I don't care if it's totally vertical. off on that yeah they didn't wire the house very well and I didn't redo all that so this outdoor one I should have turned off the heater on the inside of the house first 
go in and do that come back out yeah that's what it was the circuit breaker let's finish this off standing on the cord that is okay it's a long enough extension here that allows this thing to hold on I probably might go a little deeper next time but got to be able to remove them too let's see that'll work my hand clear pull the rip So these short ones here aren't for tying up fences. These uh, short ones here, there, and you can see just one up a little further. And then I've got the posts from the uh, from the back porch to run ropes down from. So all this is so that I can get down this hill, run a rope down on the ascender. I've already got one post there. Nice birdhouse someone gave us. It's pretty cute. Mrs. R.H. loves that. So that should give me enough posts for anchoring in. And let me know, this thing actually works decently. Um, I was thinking I might have to totally, uh, totally rebuild it so the weight would hang down on the side. Although that would be nice, uh, not necessary. Seems to work fine just like this. So I'll proceed in that manner forward. Excuse me, RH here. Kind of a drizzly April 2nd. Signing off. Hasta la Projecto.